you survived week one. You made it through. <laughs> what was it Just barely. like going into that crazy situation? How did it feel? Uh, it felt crazy, just as you said. Um, uh, I don't think there's anything that can prepare you for um, an experience like that. So I was just ready to take the leap and 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 see what happened. Mm -hmm. And how did you end up being a part of the show? Like, uh, did you? How did you apply and all that? Um, I didn't apply. It's funny. I actually I had friends in the past say, "Hey, like you, you should, um, you know, you should go try out for the Bachelor or do one of those things," and um. I was afraid at the time. I was like, well, I don't want people to think that I'm just going on there to promote my career because I'm a musician. Mm -hmm. um, so I said, no, you know, it's not for me. Um, and then this thing kind of came along and found me. Um, and I, I had done American Idol uh, season one ABC. And so I think mm -hmm. my name may have been passed through the pipeline at ABC and, and they kind of reached out and we went through the audition process and it just seemed like a really good fit uh, for me for where I'm at in my life right now. So. Do you feel like being a part of American Idol and going through that experience kind of gives you an edge on maybe some of the other contestants in this case? Yeah, I thought I thought it would. D does not. Uh, no, it um, <laughs> it it at it at least I mean it at least had given me the experience of of being on camera before and stuff like that. But this was a totally different, totally different experience and totally awesome experience. Mm hmm. And you know, you had an early connection with Jamie. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what's coming up for you guys this week? Well, you're going to have to tune in to find out. But, yeah, I uh, – <laughs> no, I definitely um, – you know, right when I right when I met Jamie in the house, I definitely felt the strongest connection with her um, of anyone else there, and I just kind of knew it right away. Um, so there's something there. Okay. And we see that uh, someone named – you know, Natasha is arriving this week. And does that – Who? throw Natasha no yeah I'm, I'm messing with you <laughs> does that does that uh throw a wrench into your plans at all or like I know there's some drama I don't know what you can tell us about it yeah well again uh, unfortunately you are gonna have to tune in to find out but um I was aware that there would be new people uh coming into the house mm -hmm. um and uh and, and she is one of the new people um and it definitely adds a new dynamic um and uh, add some tension and all that stuff. And this episode is going to be real juicy for you guys. So uh, you'll have to tune in to find out. Yeah. Okay. And, you know, with everything, you know, your experience on, on this show, I don't know if things work out romantically or not, but let's say they didn't, you know, uh, would you ever consider being a contestant at this point on The Bachelor or Bachelor in Paradise or anything else in the franchise, you know, once filming, of course, resumes on those shows? Well, you know, I, I always said I would, that I would never go on The Bachelor or anything like that. But in my lifetime, um, any time I've, I've walked through a door or done something that I was maybe afraid of or hesitant of, it's always led to something great. So for me, I would never say never to anything. So, so potentially, yes. Okay. And yeah. you know, what surprised you the most about being a part of this? I would say the, the genuine connection with people, with guys and girls, like I thought going into this, maybe people would be a little bit standoffish or, or mm -hmm. competitive or, and maybe those elements are there too, but, but I was genuinely surprised at the real human connections I've made with people on this show. So you've made some, some kind of lifelong friendships then at least. Oh, I, I, there are friends I've made on this show that will absolutely be lifelong friends. Oh, that's so nice. And that's, and, you know, and, a lot and of that's real. Yeah. Says that, you know, <laughs> you remember that. Yeah, I know. Nation now, right? I know. It's kind of crazy to say, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, best of luck with the rest of uh, your time there. And we can't wait to see what happens. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. All right. Thanks. Stay safe. All right. Have a good day. Thank you. You too.